We are gathered here tonight because we are being recognized for serving as the hands of Christ in our parishes, schools, and communities. We may come from different backgrounds, but we all share the same faith which is firmly rooted within us. Thanks to our parents, relatives, priests, catechists, teachers, and youth ministers who have helped to cultivate our life in the church throughout our formative years of grade school, middle school, and high school. Now as we prepare to move on from this point in our lives, it is our decision to either continue growing in our faith or to let it wither and fade. For me, my faith has been formed throughout my whole life. From the day my parents had me baptized into the church, to practicing the sacrament of reconciliation regularly, receiving First Holy Communion, and receiving the sacrament of confirmation, to living in a family where the faith is practiced through family rosaries, adoration hours, and regular attendance at daily and Sunday Masses, my faith has always been a part of who I am. I have been fortunate enough to go on a mission trip to evangelize and work with other faithful Catholics who have answered God's call to be missionaries. I have made two pilgrimages to Rome, which brought my faith to a deeper understanding with the beauty of the churches and basilicas and the history of Christianity that has been so influential to not just the church, but all of Western civilization. I have also experienced the death of a younger brother, which ultimately provides me with the opportunity to strive to live my faith so that one day I might be able to meet him in heaven. We were made to be with God in heaven. Daily living as the hands of Christ will help us achieve that goal. The world is going to throw a multitude of challenges at us, trying to make it difficult to practice our faith. We will be faced with decisions in which we must choose to state our beliefs based on our faith and not be afraid to stand up as Catholics living in the world, or else we will blend into a very secular society. Unfortunately, the reality that we are faced with today is that the majority of young people go off to college or work with the intention of practicing their faith, but as conflicts begin to arise with schedules and pressures, practicing the faith and receiving the sacraments quickly fade. It is our responsibility and obligation to remain firm in our resolve to live our lives as Catholics. Good intentions are meaningless unless they are carried out in word and action. There are many examples of men and women in the communion of saints who have lived their lives as the hands of Christ. One of my personal favorites, and one that we should all look to, is Blessed Pier Giorgio Frassati. Born to a wealthy, non-religious family, whose parents disapproved of his interest in the Catholic faith, he nonetheless lived out his faith as a servant to the poor. At his beatification ceremony in 1990, St. John Paul II named him the Man of the Beatitudes because he was a model of heroic virtue. He never hesitated to give to those in need, especially the poor, the widows, orphans, and homeless. Without his family knowing, Pier Giorgio would buy medicine out of his own allowance to make sure the sick received the care and medicine necessary. Even though his father was an atheist and anti-Catholic, Pier Giorgio would still sneak out of his family's home and go to Mass. When he and his friends went on hiking and camping trips, he always made sure that a priest would celebrate Mass for them so that they would not omit their Sunday obligations. He was diagnosed with polio in July of 1925, and it quickly took over his body. When the time of his funeral came, his family expected the well-to-do of Turin to be there, but much to their surprise, the poor also showed up in overwhelming numbers to pay their respects to the man who had helped them so often and with such devotion. Pier Giorgio's life is a wonderful example of how to live our lives as the hands of Christ. The good news is, as recipients of hands of Christ, we have proven that we understand our mission and what we are called to do. Collectively, we have served at the altar, brought beauty to the Mass through music, proclaimed God's Word, served as extraordinary ministers of the Eucharist, youth representatives on parish councils, and various other ministries. We have filled food pantries, served in soup kitchens, interacted with the homeless in shelters, provided for refugees, and volunteered countless hours doing a variety of other works of mercy. 
We know that all of this service is not one-sided. We encounter Christ through each of these encounters. As we go forward, we must never let anything impede our relationship with Christ and to live out our lives and vocations so that we can continue being the hands of Christ in a world that desperately needs our example. I wish my fellow recipients all the best in the upcoming years and thank everyone for coming. Blessed Pier Giorgio Frasati, pray for us.